We'd like to welcome you today to the uh, virtual doll convention. I'm Becky. This is Andy. That's me. And, <laughs> and we're going to be presenting our program on Hewlett Piano Babies and Figurines. Uh, Andy's going to give you a brief history of the company, and then I will show you um, some of my piano babies, a lot of my figurines, and we'll show you the marks. So enjoy. I think the first thing we should do is we should both thank Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, Rachel Hoffman does a wonderful job with the Virtual Doll Convention, and it's great that she's presenting this uh, convention at this time. I think it's nice for us all to have something take our mind off of uh, what's going on in the world. And uh, we want to share with you why we enjoy Hubach uh, so much. And I probably. Well, I'd, I'd like to say something about that because now that I'm thinking about it, this has taken me two days to get these shoe boxes down from all their cases. We have them in a staircase where Andy had to get up on a ladder. I have them over my tub in my bath bathroom, um, shelves in our bedroom. Turns out that they're, they're mixed all in with my doll collection. We found them. It probably took a day to find them and a day to clean them and set them up. So yeah, it's taken us. Yep, we trans we've transformed the shop uh, into the village figurine shop. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should change the name. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and uh, we want to start today uh, with the history of uh, Hubach, which I'll start by saying uh, most people say Hoibach and we say Hubach. So it's sort of tomato, it's tomato, tomato. Exactly, yes. Hubach. So uh, we're not trying to mispronounce it purposely. Uh, it's just the habit we've both been in since we were children. So we, you might hear say Hubach or Hoibach. I believe they're both correct. So let's talk about the factory. The Gebruder Hoibach factory um, was started by two brothers in 1840. So you have Peter and George Hoibach uh, and... Gebruder means? Brother. So that's why it's the Bruder Hobart, the Brothers Hubach. Uh, in 1843, they started porcelain production and they, they had bought an existing factory and got the right to make porcelain in 1843. They started with utilitarian wares and decorative, uh, decorative arts like figurines uh, and they were not a doll producer. Um, so throughout the 19th, in, into the 19th century, really where their main production was, was in piano babies and figurines and decorative porcelains, plaques, all kinds of things like that. And it was a very large, um, a large factory. I just remember I have a plaque. Oh, whoops, well, you didn't find it. Well, maybe if we ever have part two. That's true. You're right, we could have a part two. Yep, so um, they started doll production at during the character form movement in 1910. And I think we're all familiar with their dolls, but what we want to show you the figurines is it's so easy to see why those dolls look the way they were. The figurine production influences the dolls so dramatically. Um, I think we'll have some more history as we go. So I'm gonna run the camera and we're gonna start with uh, traditional piano babies, right? Yeah, but I, would, I did like to mention that the person who got me hooked on Hubox, I don't know if you know this or not. Was it Richard Wright? It's Richard Wright. So he was one of my best friends and I actually used to buy Hubox figurines from him. I started with Piano Babies mm -hmm. when I was just a teenager. Yep. So it's been well, a while. <laughs> I remember when we, we got married uh, about 20 years ago. Um, We've been married 20 years? Mm, yes, this year. Oh. And uh, you had sold your Hubach collection uh, right before mm -hmm. uh, we got married. And so we started collecting together. So we've collected for 20 years. And I we mean, never knew how many we had. And we They're just all over the house. We just counted it as close to 200. So don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. Can't <laughs> it. All right, let's start with uh, you want to start with um, piano, babies. piano babies. This is. Ooh. Camera air. All right. Sorry about that. Oh, we forgot to introduce Teddy. Well, you want to show everybody Teddy? Teddy. He's being so quiet down here. Come on, sweetheart. Ooh, let's get you up here. This is Theodore. He's the shop dog. He's 14 years old. 
And he's our baby. He's our baby. And we're filming at night because if anybody walks past the shop, Teddy thinks they're coming in. And he barks. Yeah. So we'll see if he'll stay on the floor nicely. All right. Where would you like to begin? Well, I'm going to start with what Billy Hubach is known for is the piano babies. And they are virtually, oh no, I did that, babies. And they're in different positions. As you can see. Do you, do you want me to tell them why they call them piano babies? Well, that might be a good way to start. So piano babies, uh, I think it also relates not not just babies, but figurines in general. Uh, a lot of these were used in Victorian era uh, in parlors or living rooms. You know, the main big piece of furniture in your house uh, and the main entertaining space was your piano. And people in that era, as you know, loved to decorate. And um, they would decorate their pianos with big um, scarves, and they would hold down the scarves with these piano babies, and that's that's where that term comes from. Well, that's interesting because I could see like this giant baby being able to hold down a scarf. Yes. But because this is one of my favorite figurines, it's, it's called in Papa's shoe, and 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 this in this size, it actually can lace. But because I love it so much, I have it in this size. Now, it still has the toe of the shoe open, but the laces are not pierced. Mm -hmm. And then when it gets into the really small, the detail, so you can actually see how they're, the larger ones are, mm -hmm. you know, a premium to collectors because they're modeled so incredibly. Well, Hubach, just like their dolls, made, you know, in multiple sizes. And they had such incredible sculptors and they would create all their styles in many sizes. So the shoe is one of the great yeah, pieces in the collection. It's a classic for yes. sure. And these are the typical crawling babies. I have them in different sizes. I never realized until today that I had never bothered to keep a big one of these. I've had dozens of them, but I just never realized I didn't have one. Can you pick up... Um, Pick up that guy right there, and, and I want to see if that has the mark on it. Yep. Yep. Well, so this, aren't you lucky? Yep. Okay. So, Becky's going to hold that. I just wanted to show most of the, in this period, the piano babies, uh, they have the sunburst mark. So, you can see that incised sunburst mark in the middle. And then mo a lot of the figurines have that red stamp made in Germany. Mm -hmm. So, we'll, later on, we'll show you the, they also come with a, uh, that, uh, and a stamped sunburst mark. And then we'll get to the other marks later. So okay, so they didn't know. start using well, the mark until I think. Oh, that one has the eighteen eighties. And a lot of the a lot of the figurines. That one has both. Yep, a lot of the figurines have have the mark, and they're very faint. Um, or some of the figurines, and I think a lot of some of the early ones weren't marked at all. So we'll we'll touch on that as we go. Okay. Now I love this one. That's this a classic. Is, this is. Beautiful because it has the bonnet. Look at look at the modeling of the face, the intaglio eyes. These eyebrows are actually sort of um, molded. Uh, he has little bags under his eyes. He's got little teeth. You can really see the dolls in the eh. yeah. And intaglio eyes and molded hair is one of the things the dolls were known for. So you can, mm -hmm. it was easy for them to make that transition. Yes, you can see why doll collectors love them. Probably more than antique collectors, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Because more like dolls. Now they made a lot of black figurines as well, and they did a, they did not go the route that some of the other companies did. They did very sensitive, sweet black more, children. Yeah, more realistic. Right. Now this has, you know, he's he's got his little corn. He's eating, and this little one. I've seen a larger version of this, but the porridge is in the lap. And then this is his little brother. They each have a. Ear of corn. And a lot of the series were themed. You just, you see the same figure doing different things. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, they had groups for sure. Yep. And now you this, see the same face uh, a lot of times used in different, you know, the Oh, same. absolutely. Mm -hmm. If you really look closely at yep. them. Um, this is a really sweet baby. He's sort of got an appealing, outstretched arm. You know, pick me up. He sort of reminds me of Teddy. I love his uh, modeling and the clothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see all the, it's almost like it's fabric. And they, they poured these um, slip and the, they're very thin. 
uh, very fine. Uh, you know, these were not the high end of figurines in, in German production, but the quality and the modeling, I think, is just as good as any top end. Yeah. Now, this is a series. I just like these because they're the sort of naked babies mm -hmm. and they have many different poses. You know, this little girl. Oh, I love that one. Look at Splashing her. the water on his face. Yeah. That... Look at that. Look at those eyelids. Look at the mouth. Look at the detail. Oh, and then if I turn it around, you can see the hair. Look at the, you can see her spine. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yep. Yeah. It's incredible. I mean, their modeling is incredible and you can see the seam lines. Andy, you've looked at them. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it wasn't like they could make this in one mold. So because of undercuts, um, so the, the legs, the arms, that would have all been separate molds and they'd have to attach them and then fire them in greenware. You know? mm -hmm. So it's pretty this, amazing. And this is a nice one with his little shower cap on getting ready to take a bath. Yeah. And it's cute cause they even put little well, I guess shoes on when they get out of the bath. Yeah, look at they that. They're laced up. Yep. Well, you don't want to slip. There's one in a tub. There's one in a tub. Isn't that cute? So and it that, looks kind of cold. He's sort of shivering. And you don't see much glazing in Hubach, and that's a glazed tub. So yeah. as we go, we'll see other glazed things. But it's mostly bisque. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is that. Now you'll see this is basically the same little girl. She's just now in a different position. But she's I can't, the same. I can't see her. There we go. Thank you. Same hairdo, yeah. same, same girl. Same girl, different just, position. Just a different position. So, and the boys are the same way. And, and, and she's over here also yeah, in the she's corner. Over there too. And then these boys. Yeah. I want you to turn that one over in your hand. This one. Yep. Yeah. Oh, can you bring it up here to the camera? All right. <laughs> you probably should have practiced. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. What we see there is uh, the other mark we find quite often, and that's what we call the square mark. And that comes in sized and sometimes stamped, or, you know, um, that printed. that number? Yep. Most of them are 8,000, 8, 9,000, and 10,000 numbers. Um, there's so many mold numbers, it's hard, you know, it's the same way with the, the dolls, with the doll can't <laughs> figure it out. But, and a lot of the, a lot of the dolls are 6,000, 7,000 numbers. Eight, so. and some, mm -hmm. some eights, some nines. Yep. Now these are cute, these, this, there's a little series of, of kids, they're sort of like toddlers. I love these. Now this is one of our favorites, they're just marching off to... They've been playing. They've been in a battle. This one's got a little bandage on Well, his he own. also has a bandage on his head if you pull his hat off. Oh, really? The, yep, the other one. Oh. There you go. You knew that? Yeah, totally. Oh, oh wasn't that Isn't cute? Isn't that great? Oh, that's pretty cute. And this was made around the time of World War One. Right. So it makes a lot of sense. For the, and well, they've been through battle and they're coming home. Yep, I love that pair. I do too. And the and other is, pair I love. Is, this is cute yeah. too. It's sort of like the before and after. Oh, look at them. But they're sis, brother and sister. Look at their faces. Now this is just turn, like a coquette. Turns this side. Thank you. This one's like a coquette with that blue mm -hmm. headband. You know, he's got little boots with like spats and she's got her little ankle socks and Mary Jane's. Show the bottom how it's made. I know, I was just this looking at that. Yeah, and well, they braced it. Yeah. I do that in my own pottery. That's pretty cool. Yep. That's pretty cool. And then there's a little boy sneaking away over there. Oh, yeah. And I then, can't see him there. Yeah, he's cute. It's, this is an endless series. You could just collect these and be perfectly happy. That's the interesting thing is with Hubox is there are so many, you know, sub-collections of collecting Hubox. Now, look at this pair. They have wigs. Now that's pretty unusual to have wigs. Mm -hmm. And I guess there's been a little fight and they're making up. That's sort of like us before we filmed this. <laughs> <laughs> what? I have no, no idea what you're talking no about. No feelings were hurt. In the <laughs> no hue box were harmed in the making of this video. Now these are the largest that I have. Um, and I think what we put them up high, these are probably like 17 inches tall, the center ones. And, I, and the reason I didn't know I had two of these, you just happened to find one in one house and one in the other. Mm -hmm. and, um, but I, I think 
Well, and, you can see the differences right. in them. And it's just basically because of how they came out of the mold. The, the one is a little shorter. Uh, and one has its head down and the other one's uh, it's got its head up more. It's probably harder to see it from yeah. there. Though. Yeah, it is, but, you know. Because I had to... I Trust us. No, 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 look at that. Look how she's looking down. Yeah. And then... Now, he's lucky because now he's going to have two girls. Because I'm going to keep them all together now that I know. Now that I know I have two. But see how she looks way further down. Yep. Tucked you can in. see the height yep. difference there too, completely. Yeah. Different and color when, socks. And look how the Even difference, the coloring in the bisque. One's <laughs> sort of chalkier and wider, and the other one's pinker. Yep. Now, I wonder if they're marked. Because that might tell us why they're different. Because you had this theory of different well, marks. Well, I think on it was hard to mark that tasseled molded. Oh, that little, yeah. that's a little yeah. cuffed in. Not every, not everyone is marked, but once you learn their quality, and a lot of it has to do with the, the thinness of the bisque, the color of the bisque, they always have the, um, there's a Hubach eye for sure. When I look at them, I Well, there's I a Hubach face. Yep. Just in general, there's a Hubach face. There's definitely a Hubach, let's call it DNA in their figurines when you compare it to a, well, another is, figurine. Well, now that you mention it, why don't we show this? Because I brought this down just to i love him it's another great piano baby but and he's not hubach, not hubach but he has like completely different molded eyes i mean there's no real comparison mm -hmm. even though you could say oh he's got a molded lid but he doesn't have he has got an intaglia but they didn't put the little white yeah. dot in there yep and oddly enough there's more molding in this guy than there are in these so I don't know what that means. Well, they had a style. Hubach had a style of how they treated their modeling. Like, like his ear and his hair. Let's look at more head. kids. Look at these great guys in the corner. We have... Oh, they, that she's one has her a... Kitty. Yeah, that one has a cat and he has a dog. He has two. He's got two? Yep, two puppies. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah. And they, did, they used a lot of these uh, pastel-y purples well, and them. yellows and... And a lot of them will have these tree or naturey bases, and then like the ones to the right, you see a lot of different types of stools. So there's a tasseled stool, and next to it we have He's like, a, like a wicker chair. That's like a tambour, that's a and that's tambour. like a. She's knitting. She yep. looks sweet. She knits. Yet, she does something that's. That, oh, hold on. I'm trying to she, fix. It. Well, she's nice and sweet, and does something good for the world and he does something bad. Oh, that's right. So, why don't you show him. Look at those knitting needles. I know. All modeled in. Well, her habit isn't gonna hurt her, his is. Yes. He's, uh, <laughs> he's smoking. He's smoking. Nice cigar. Look at the, the way his hair moves. I just. I know, now, now he has eh. got exceptional hair. Yep. And he's got a fez on. Look at his base, look at that base. It's amazing. Yeah. Look at his socks. I mean, the detail in these is kind of... And we got to mention his glasses, too. Oh, his glasses, yep. too. We get endless joy out of these. Every morning when I walk down the steps, uh, I look at the Hubach figurines well, that are in our stairwell. Well, we have set up in our stairwell, you know, right. against the wall. And they're... Now, these have not been in our hands for, what, how many years? A few, a few years. Look at... Look at... Oh, don't move. Oh yeah, so there is uh, an example of the stamped Gebrüder Horbach sunburst mark, and also the made in Germany, so in red. You also see it in other colors. I've seen blue and green. That was a nice find. Yep. Do you want to go to the table now? Yeah. Are we starting okay. over there. Yes. Now because I display these, I have a big corner tub and I display them while well, you built me shelves above the tub and so I started to collect the ones that sort of looked like they were getting ready for bed or getting out of a bath so of course this this guy's a classic because he's he's sort of patting his stomach and standing in a, a little tub he's pretty cute um these girls are probably just sort of drying off in their little uh, nightgowns. Getting ready for bed. Getting ready for bed. This pair are in their night clothes. Love that pair. Playing with their 
yeah. dog, and dog cat. and cat. That's you a, see that a lot. That's a real theme with Hubach. This little girl is just a different version of, of them. She's got a pink bow. And, and almost every model was her. made as a pair, you know. Yeah. You it, you find them in but the But there's no, I've never seen a boy of those, so that's not true. I said almost. I know, but you said it at the wrong time for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I'm going to correct you. <laughs> but I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> this is one of my absolute favorite pictures. Yeah, this is the boy and their father's, hey, down, you, there you go. Uh, in their father's nightshirt. It's just too much. It's really too much. I mean, it's just it's super amazing. rare. Super rare. Oh, there's the mark. Yep, the there's, mark. that's the sunburst mark. It has a mark. mold number. It's got a thirteen thousand mold number. Mm -hmm. so it's way up there. I think during the production in the time of um, Hoybach Gebruder Hoybach, they made over twenty thousand molds. That's wow. what I've read. Wow. Now that's kind of a cute pair. I guess that, well, I guess that's brother and sister. All right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it, folks, right here. She said it. It's on. <laughs> don't, get, don't get carried away. Um, I love the fade in this one. This one's incredible. Because, again, she's like that little baby over there that she's just sort of reaching up to have you pick her up. So that's a sweet figurine. Yep. And another thing that I absolutely love, absolutely love the flex is what I call the doubles. And these are all molded figurines that are oh, molded together. Towards me. Towards you. Mm. Now this is a boy presenting a spring flower to his little girlfriend or sister, I'm not sure which. But it's that sort of nature thing that Andy's talking about, the Vase, the yep. vases have a lot of detail, a lot of flower work and trees and Look at things those. like that. Can you ever imagine me wearing purple pants like that? Well, it'd be sort of nice. <laughs> I mean, we are going to be home for a while, so maybe I'll get you there. <laughs> let, me get, let me get down here okay. so they can closer. Here we go. All right, now look at this. Now these two have had a spat, obviously. Oh, wow. And, uh, look at the, she, she's dumped her flowers. She's dumped her flowers. Now, this is a single girl that I've had for a long time, and I just kept her because I think she probably got the bouquet from him. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it all went wrong, so I'm not sure. All right, let's work our way around. Here. Now, this is oh, probably the prettiest pair as far as look at her face. And they're the singers. Wow. And interestingly, they don't do this that often, just do a sort of a monochromatic um, outfit but again you can see you can see the dolls yeah the, oh if i can find a faces. doll look like that oh my god oh. <laughs> watch out andy um and what and sometimes people don't think that the quality is as good when they're not painted in the back but that's not true i mean it well really doesn't make any difference a lot of them are used on mantles uh curios and I don't think, you know, decorating the back wasn't always a necessity, especially some, something so right. large. Look at the detail of that model. And I have seen them used on they table sort of, lamps. They sort of did a fade out. Yep. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Now, I know you mentioned once before something that was... Glazed? Glazed. So this is a little later, right? Yeah. But it's cute. And Show it's, them that. Oh, look at that That's mark. the square. But that one is the... It's not stamped. This can, one's 10,000. I'm there just, we go. Steady, is you all right? Yeah. But that has the um, stamped square mark. So it's H E U okay. on the top and B A C H on the bottom. So. Hubach. <laughs> Hoybach. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> now, this pair are dancing. These were singing and these are dancing. They did a lot of you know activities. I mean, they, they put thought into these. And. You surmise this may have been made. Yeah, I think this one was even, and it looked, it doesn't look like it's drilled. It looks like it's, you know, made at the factory that way. Oh, that's a factory. Yeah. And uh, so it was probably made for a lamp. But mm, I don't know if they ever did it. But... Well, we have seen lamps. So. Oh, no, but I'm just saying that this one may not yeah. have. There's a lot of bisque in that, too. It's just, they're heavy. We forgot the way one. Yeah, I was going to weigh some of those yeah. big ones. They're yeah. heavy. Okay. Yep. Now, this is the dark, a dark secret. Which was a, you know, this is from an illustration from the period. Because you said it yep. had, look it at had, that. 
Yep. It's got two marks. So it has a sunburst mark, and on the right, it says copyright. So it's they must have received the copyright. Whoever ordered it from Hubach was the same as the um, from the illustration, mm -hmm. A Dark Secret. Aren't they beautiful little yeah. boys? Look at, the, look at the modeling. Look at their clothes in the fence. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Oh. Yeah. They're great. They're great. And then these are two babies in a little nest. They're adorable. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna scoot over a little bit. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna. I was actually seeing if they were marked. Nope. nope. Now this is one of my favorites. I have a double of this because I have actually I have more of these down at the shore. But this one is she's scared of the crab and she's clinging on to her yeah. brother. And I love their suits. Look at the detail. And they used a lot of this flowered patterns in the outfits like that. Sometimes loose, sometimes really tight, lots of different decoration you see the same figures completely painted differently so it wasn't like one model had one style of painting i think we'll see that later on okay yeah yeah we do mm -hmm. now that, that's a cute pair yep playing leapfrog i just love the action in this one and they did sort of a lot of kids playing i mean that was a huge and just to mold that i mean there's multiple molds uh, all these undercuts, they couldn't make that in one piece. And just so. even the sculptural quality mm -hmm. of that is pretty amazing. Yep. So uh, on that note, the reason why there's so much variety, I think it helps out that Hubach and, and other manufacturers in the uh, Licht uh, area of Germany opened up a school of sculpting and painting for porcelain. Uh, and it was right next door to the factory. So how convenient. 18, 18, how convenient. 1863. How convenient. So that's why they had plenty of talent because they were training them and they had great professors uh, that were trained um, academic artists teaching these workers how to be sculptors. Well, they certainly did a great job because I don't think anybody could <laughs> deny the. Uh, and this is a great appeal. one. This is Blind Man's Bluff. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a kind of a classic. Look at that. I mean, look at her face. Look at him. The just the whole the 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 motion and the the feel of that. I mean, it has an amazing. And they always did great with the wrinkles in the clothes and the yeah. swaying and and you the, actually feel the and the muscle movement. Yeah, you actually can feel it in mm -hmm. the way she looks back at him. I just, I included her in this group, which is not obviously not a double, but some of the doubles have the greatest molds, and this one sort of surpassed a lot of other ones that I had out, and I just wanted to show that some of the modeling them is similar to um, dolls, and this is... This is horsey. Horsey. So they're so, playing horsey. That's pretty cute. Yep. Yeah. And she looks like her. Another great pair of pants. Yep. Hey, I'll, honey. I'll never, how about orange no, pants? Never wear, <laughs> with flowers on them. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Come on over here. All right. Before we put everyone to sleep. Oh. So now we can just show you some of these just for fun. I mean, we don't have to get into great detail. Uh, you know, these are the classic girls that would be pleated accordion uh, dresses. Yep. They're you posing. Can see, Very Shirley Temple-esque even though they're prior to Shirley Temple. And but, we, you can see we have two sizes there, and we've even seen it really tiny. I have one, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> um, the, this is a cute the little bonnets, baby. The bonnets. Ba the bonnet All the kids. bonnet kids up there. Yeah. And then the little kid in the high chair. The, this is a great little high chair piece. I've always loved that. Um, and then these are all pairs and sets. Uh, this is a pair, girl and boy. I think, you know. She doesn't look very. No, she's happy definitely with. Them. Well, he's sort of. They he's both, got some attitude, too. Oh, they definitely do. But the reason you know they're pairs is you just have to use common sense and sort of figure out the yeah, bases. The, the bases match, match. And then the painting of the shoes. Now she's got gold on her shoes. So, you know. I mean, they came as a pair, but sometimes you can find one to match another one you have. This I love is, his glasses. Look at that's another boy in glasses. And look at his, look at the texture at, in his sweater. I know. And then here's his little sister. I think they're just playing grown up. Because she's, it's sort of, they're sort of colonial looking, aren't they? 
the way she's sort of dressed. Mm. Or Kate Greenaway. Yes. Now, okay, these, these are my favorites. I <laughs> love these. This little girl is crying. I don't know whether, she's lost her shoe. I have two sizes of it. Um, well, this is also a great example of how, how they painted the same modeling. It can be so different. I know. You have the peach colored ones and the blue yeah. pair. I mean, this is a softer, prettier, you know, painting, but these mm. are great too. I mean, these are sort of bold because they striped. And look at, look at, the, look at this. Um, look, look at her molded tears. I know. Sweet. This one's even more obvious on her. Oh my goodness. This is great. I know. And then look at his textured socks and look at his pattern in his pants. Another great pair of pants. Another great pair of pants. You're mm -hmm. missing the boat. I know. <laughs> Here's another pair that's cute. They're playing some kind of to definitely dress up. dress up. Yeah. Yeah. Matching bases. Mm -hmm. I think this is what you were talking about, just to show. Now this is a pair. She's got the dove. He's got the rabbit, and they're all done in lavender. Mm -hmm. And then. And then I have another pair that probably weren't really a pair, but I like them. I you get blue them and and sort of a peachy color or peach, yeah. So they didn't just stick with one design. They allowed some creativity in their artists. Now this is a little set of kids and he's playing the um, banjo. banjo and these two girls are dancing. And then I don't know if he's bored or what he's doing, but they're dressed so wonderfully. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the long tails, the top hat. So some kind of a little band. There's probably more pieces to it, but. They're pretty great. And then these oh, kids are dancing. These. I love these two. Well, no, the, yeah, what? he's imitating her. I love how he's got his pockets pulled out of his jacket. She's doing like a curtsy. Oh, and I he's doing, curtsy. And he's doing an imitation of her. He's making fun of her. Wow. He'll get in trouble later, I'm sure. Yeah, but now look at those. That's Becky and Andy. Yeah, that's Becky and Andy. Yeah. They're going to be in trouble. But look at her face. Mm -hmm. I love this. Yep. Yeah. You want to go over to the counter? Yep, and then we'll finish up over here. We'll show you probably one of the most famous sets is the bubble blowers. Everybody knows the bubble blowers. Yep, this is a great pair with what we believe to be original bubbles. Well, I'm sure it is. And you can see the molded uh, dish right in front. That was their soap dish. Yeah, it's all full of soap. Yep, and then we have a smaller set back here. Well, there. there well, actually, you have. Like three. Girl. Yeah, there's three different sizes. Mm -hmm. That girl was up in our stairwell. Yeah. She's never had a mate. i got to find her a mate. And then these are just two random ones. What I think is interesting about the smaller one is they completely changed the base. Oh, that's why you took it out here. Mm -hmm. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. It's trying to figure out why you had it there. Um, then the snow kids. He's throwing a snowball at his sister, of course. That's, mm -hmm. The boys that's a classic. were pretty bratty back then. All dressed up in his... Uh, gold outfit or with a, or yellow yeah. outfit with this gold trim and, you know, and, I, and I was noticing that uh, maybe 10% of the figures have that gilding of these figurines. Is that, is that so, an extra firing process? Uh, good question. I know <laughs> <laughs> to be determined. <laughs> when my mother worked in a pottery that's what she did was she applied the gilding so I think it's added after. Your mother worked for you Buck? No, she worked for the Sile Pottery. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I know. I know she's old, but... <laughs> Not that old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pay for that. Um, Not by me. <laughs> well, we'll just hope this doesn't make it to the Christmas party. Um, the um, This okay. little girl's holding a doll, fully dressed. You know, Victorian doll like we all collect. So. And I love that they're on overturned uh, rattan baskets. This is great. And he's got his paper hat and his drum. Do you know that I never knew that, that that's what they were? I thought it was a wicker. I thought it was like a wicker chair. No, look at that bale handle. No, on the bottom. I know now. But, you know, I didn't really take we need to talk about this stuff more. Well, it would have been nice, like I said before, if we maybe uh, uh, practiced. Why rehearse? That's true. Um, this pair is kind of cool. Now, actually, he should have a stick. Yep. I thought about asking you to get me one, but I forgot. So I think it is around here somewhere. Oh, okay. Because uh, he's playing hoops and she's jumping rope. But they're pretty great. Skip rope was yeah. great. And, and these kids are just having fun. They're outside. They're playing, juggling apples. 
I love I love that they've got one apple on the ground and you just feel like there's motion there. Oh yeah, really great. Well, look at all the wrinkles in his pants, and then look at this kid. He's this, awesome. He has a tear in his shirt. Yeah. On his sleeve. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Sleeve. I don't know. Were these farm? Did we decide they were like gardening? Well, or, that's a, oh, no, that's, a, a that's a broom and, and a um, oh yeah. Uh, what do they call that? She's cleaning. Oh well, then what's he doing? Watching her. Oh, sort of like here. Yeah. <laughs> no. Actually, it's the other way around, but I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> I'm just saying. So this is so this is Andy and that's Becky? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then this is... Uh, they did a lot of seashore-themed um, figurines, so obviously people had, uh, you know... Well, tell, show them the great thing about the one in the middle. I just think it's so amazing. And I guess you mean the separate... It's a bisque bucket. A totally separate bucket. That's amazing that that never got broken. Yep. But it's all in one piece. And she has beautiful modeling. Mm -hmm. I think I have another And she's, she's uh, listening to the ocean in a shell. Yeah. So they're a pair on that right, yeah. right and the left. But well, it goes nicely as a yep. set. Yep. And, and look how she's dipping her toe, and they've got the, the motion of the water. Oh, yeah, look at that. So, I think I've looked at them closer now than I ever have. Yeah, well, too busy collecting them. Yep. What do we have up here? This is the last one. Oh, row. this is one of my favorites. He things. is a classic. He's beautiful. I mean, I think he's one of the greatest painted ones. I mean, maybe not the greatest modeling, but his pants. Are his amazing. whole outfit is amazing. Yeah, look at his... Look at his um, you know, his shoes are so pointed, and then these fancy pants with the big cuffs. Well, the best part of all, is, though. Is, of course, that. Yep, the dog head cane, yeah. and he's got a flower. He's got a flower, and he's glasses. got glasses. Now, that's Andy. There you go. There's Andy. Well, then that would be Becky over there. Yep, we'll show you Becky. Yeah. So, Becky's got a little well, kitty. Well, that's a Pomeranian. No, that's a Pomeranian. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? And she really looks like a lot of the dolls with yeah. the molded hair. Yeah. She does. And look at the mo motion of her ribbon. And the reason I set these here is because you made an... I had them over there yesterday and you made an interesting observation that... Could you imagine if these were full figures? They'd be, <laughs> they'd be as big as this. So yeah, I thought that was giant. just funny because their heads are enormous. And you do see these in multiple sizes. Because look at the size of the head compared to typical. Yep. And that... Uh, and they're sort of, I think they're hollow. Oh yeah. Yep. yep. Almost everything was hollow cast. Uh, some you do see with solid bottoms, but they are hollow. Uh, and they have, you know, vent holes in the bottom. But uh, that's... Now that's I'm gonna that. conclude the program with a, with a wish. And it's gonna be, this is my favorite figurine. But this of course is the smallest version of my favorite figurine, so I do, Sometime. Set it down so I can get a nice close up of it. That someone may have one and maybe I'll get a larger size someday. Because I go. love that. Because obviously yeah. it's a doll collector. And yeah, one of the rare ones is, is that the sitting child holding a doll. So, if you got one, <laughs> direct <laughs> message us. Yeah, <laughs> who wants it? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh,. That's everything for today. That concludes our program for today. You want to say goodbye, Teddy? You want to say goodbye? You've Should been we? Really good. You've been really good. So, want to thank you all, and wants to thank you. We actually only filmed part of our collection, so maybe we'll have part two. We don't know. So. Maybe we'd like to have part two. Yes. Yes. So say goodbye to everybody, honey. Goodbye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Have a great Thank day. You.